Okay, Etam, welcome to your video tutorial on linear inequalities. Okay, so an inequality, we did this last year, but a quick reminder, it's, an in, it's a mathematical statement that uses less than, uh, less than or equal to, greater than or greater than or equal to. So it's like an equation, but instead of having an equal sign, we have an inequality sign. So there's basically an infinite number of solutions. And the way that we show our answer, because we can't get a definite answer, is on a number line. Okay, what is each of these number lines saying? Well, I put this note down here, down the bottom, and it's really good that you, it's really, sorry, important that you write this down. Uh, on a number line, uh, a closed circle indicates that number is included, whereas an open circle indicates that the number is not included. So this one here for A, this number line is saying that X is greater than 2. 2 is not included because the circle is open. This second one here, is saying x, now I know it's x because there's x's near. x is, I'm going the other way, so it is less than, but this time because my circle is coloured in, as you might be able to see, it's actually less than or equal to negative 1. So first off, you have to be able to know what a number line is. Uh, the direction of the arrow will tell you if it's less than or equal to, uh, less than or greater than, sorry, um, and the, the nature of the circle, if it's coloured in or not, um, will tell you if that number that it's sitting on is or isn't included. Okay, so write uh, each of the following as an inequality and map it on the line. So x is less than or equal to negative 3. You notice it says less than or equal to. Okay, so here on my number line, I'm going to colour in the 3 because it could be equal to, so the 3 is included and it's less than, so my line is going that away. And this is the equation, and I write the equation above, it lets x is less than or equal to 3. Okay, so it's really important that you not only map it on the line, but that you take note of if that number is included, and you write the equation above. This is my one for B. Now, you have to do this on a separate number line. I've just utilised the same number line. Uh, x is greater than 1. Okay, 1 is not included this time, so it is an open circle. There's my 1. Pop my arrow in. X is greater than 1. It's about as difficult as it gets. Okay, X is less than 0. 0 is not included, so I have my X being less than 0. X is less than 0. That's for C. That's pretty straightforward. And finally, my last one. X is greater than or equal to negative 2. Negative 2 is greater than or equal to, so that negative 2 is included. You will do a better circle than my dodgy one. Greater than, the sign goes that way. X is greater than or equal to negative 2. That's about as tricky as it gets. Okay, where it does get, tend to get a little bit harder um, is when, sorry, that was as tricky as the number line drawing gets. It gets a little bit harder when you're requested to show your solution, uh, solve it and then so you show your solution, sorry, on a number line. Okay, so this one here, uh, 2x minus 1 is greater than 17. I solve this in the same way as I solve a normal equation. The aim of equations is to get things away from my pronumeral. How do I go about getting things away from my pronumeral? Well, the side where the pronumeral's on, so it's on this side of my inequality sign, I start with the thing furthest away. The negative 1 is currently the furthest thing away. To get rid of a negative 1, I add 1. If I add 1 to this side, I have to do the same to that side. So 2x, and I'll assume I've added 1, is the same as 17 plus 1. 2x is greater than 18. Now, what operation is going on here between the 2 and the x? Well, it's multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is division. If I divide this side by 2, because I'm trying to get rid of this multiplied by 2, I have to divide that side by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So my answer becomes x is greater than 9. So I'll need to draw up my number line because I don't have a handy number line on me. Okay, there's my x. Okay, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, and it is greater than 9, so it's an open circle over 9 and a line that way x is greater than 9 written above, okay? It's really important that um, you solve that inequality in the exact same way as you'd solve an equation. Okay, this one here, solve the following and show your solution again on a number line for b. Uh, x divided by 3 is less than or equal to negative, six, uh, negative 2. 
okay? So this is the side of which my pronumeral's on. This is the side that I have to deal with. X is currently being divided by 3. I get rid of a division by 3 by multiplying. If I multiply this side by 3, I have to multiply that side by 3, okay? So X is less than or equal to negative 6, okay? And again, I'll need to show that on a number line. Okay, I'm going to start my number line at an interesting spot. I don't have to start it right at the start. I can go negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Sorry, negative 5, negative 6. Negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10. Okay, it's x, x is less than or equal to negative 6. So I go over negative 6, but I colour it in. Okay, because that negative 6 is included, it's less than or equal to. X is less than or equal to negative 6. And that's it, guys. That is the basics that you have to understand about inequalities.